Hey, what's going on YouTube? It is your boy Awesome Skosh, and I am coming at you guys with a brand new reaction video. I wasn't even going to record this, but you know what? I said whatever. I said whatever. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and react to what happened to Boxy, because you've got to be an OG to know Boxy. You have to be an OG to know Boxy. So, with that in mind, let's get into it. Let's get into it. All right, let's go. On the 3rd of January 2008, a 16-year-old girl from California by the name of Katie Wayne would upload two the, unassuming video blogs titled for Is that the Black Ops music? That's like the that's the zombies music in the background. You can't fool me. I'm a huge zombies. That he's playing the Black Ops zombies music in the background. That's tight. For Ant from Boxy and for Addy from Boxy to her personal YouTube channel, Boxy Babe. <laughs> my name is Boxy. Boxy. Most of you know the videos were made with the goal of simply. I promise to God I didn't watch this video beforehand. That's how much I know this uh, YouTuber. You gotta be an OG to know this YouTuber. I'm not gonna dive into too much detail because, like I said, I wasn't even gonna record this. I'm not in my reaction zone, but. I'm gonna try my hardest. Simply saying hello to two people she had been playing <laughs> online games with. However, unbeknownst to her at the time, they would simultaneously yeah, make her one of the most recognizable faces in internet history. But this recognizability would be somewhat short-lived, as Boxy would become progressively less active on social media until June 2017 when she would post a final video and complete. Whoa, is that her? Wait. Wait a second. Why is Aaron Yeager in here? When was this video posted? Am I retarded? Why is Aaron Yeager there? History. But this recognizability would be somewhat short lived, as Boxy would become progressively less active on social media until June 2017 when she would post a fun. Is that her, bro? She's sexy as hell video and completely disappear off YouTube. Jay Alexander put it well under one of Boxy's videos. It's so sad seeing YouTubers disappear. Is this how it ends? Boxy's accidental accumulation of fame. Is it? Is this how it ends? began in 2008 with nothing but an internet forum. Gaia Online was its name, an anime-themed role-playing website where you could build a virtual avatar, buy things from shops, and even potentially meet friends in the process. Katie Wayne, or Boxy as she was known in Gaia Online, would meet two seemingly insignificant individuals on the forum by the name of Admiral Bo Awesome and Ant. And after conversing with them on the forum for some time, she decided she would make each of them a personal video message. Oh, hey guys, I didn't see you there. I was too busy making Addy a video. I love you guys. I'm gonna go get dressed and showered and try to look super <laughs> oh, pretty and man, take pictures. I'll get Ant's video voice. done today. Dressed and shit there. I was too busy making Addy a video. I love you guys. I'm gonna go get dressed and showered and try that's to look she, super she pretty she, and take pictures. She reminds me of Stampy. And it's Stampy. And this chick is, hi, my name is Boxy. Is that what you have to do to be like, Good at YouTube? Is that what you have to do, guys? Take pictures. I'll get Ant's video done today, for sure. KK, bye. Please PM me. These videos would appear on her YouTube channel in the few days following. I decided that I was going to make videos for people. And the first one was for my friend, Admiral Awesome. And now Admiral this one awesome? is for Ant. And throughout the two videos, Boxy displayed a personality that can only be described as bizarre. Upbeat yeah, with strange ramblings, mannerisms, and when mixed with her borderline emo physical appearance, the video stood out as incredibly unique. However, as you might assume from what we've discussed, the intention was never for anyone besides Ant and Addy to watch these videos, and that's how it would remain for the entire year of 2008, until something strange would happen. The weird parts of the internet got a hold of the videos.
In the 11 months between January and December of 2008, Boxy's videos were viewed by less than 20,000 people. And as time progressed, there was nothing that might have indicated that our viewership would begin to dramatically increase. However, on the 27th of December 2008, the video would be anonymously embedded onto another forum by the name of IamBoard.com with the goal of sharing her bizarre... <sighs> Iambored.com, that was a classic website. I've been on there a couple times. Borderline cringy personality. Couple Users times. on Iambored.com would share the sentiment that Boxy Bay was an absolute nutbag. Stating, what the drat? This is the worst dratting video I have ever seen on this site. Holy poo. In the entire four to five years I've been on here, this has got to be the worst thing I have ever seen. It has no point. Jesus Christ, this is terrible. She sounds like she has multiple personalities. I think I finally have hearing aids. After the two videos were posted to the ironboard.com forum, the ratings over I on YouTube would drop AIDS. dramatically to between 2 and 2. You wish Boxy fucked you and gave you AIDS? You wish Boxy fucked you and gave you AIDS? Ain't happening. It ain't happening! 0.5 stars each, displaying the negative attitude that forum users had towards Boxy's personality. Following this, Boxy's two innocuous video shoutouts would be shared to 4chan's B forum, embedded in a You Rage You Lose thread, challenging users to watch the full video without getting annoyed. Would Boxy <laughs> once again receive an absolute hiding from 4chan with regards to her annoying personality? Annoyed. Well, <laughs> yes, but at the same time, no, as this time around many users actually shared a rather different opinion. I'm 23 and I would marry her anytime. I would divorce my beautiful 26 year old wife so I could marry Boxy. I need to find me a Boxy. Numerous individuals over on 4chan be So Boxy's a scene girl. Boxy is a scene girl. If you like scene girls, you know, go for it, bro. I know a bunch of people back in the day who like scene girls. I know this pretty rave girl. I always think about her. And if you see right through me, butterflies go right through me. I sound like... 80% of that correct, but you know what? It's a reaction video. It's off the dome. No editing, baby. Right on the bandy cam. You see the, you see the watermark. You see the watermark. Again, to take a liking to Boxy for her attractive appearance and cute personality, ultimately leading to numerous questions surrounding who this girl actually was. Users Boxy began to repost to her us. face all over the site, hoping that someone might know who she actually was. As she became more and more recognizable on the website, the demand for finding out who she was became greater and greater. She would eventually be crowned the Queen of B, and it seems like a large majority she of 4chan had. She was essentially queen of YouTube. Had a bit of an internet crush on her. My dearest grandchild, let me tell you a story of the first simp queen of the internet. Children simp over Belle Delphine, men simp over Boxy. This woman had a rally of simps before the term simp even was made. But while most found her to be cute, there was still the fair share of forum users who found her to be annoying and childish. <laughs> Additionally, many were getting annoyed that they couldn't go anywhere on the beloved forums without seeing Boxy's face. And a strange tribal type war broke out between those who loved Boxy and those who hated her. The event a would eventually come to be war? known as the Four. Yo, is that racist? What do you mean tribal? I'm playing, I'm playing. I'm kidding, that's a joke, that's a joke. It's a spring, bro, it's just a spring. Chan Civil War of 2009. As the craziness escalated, it was clear that something needed to be done. Approxim look at that beautiful old YouTube layout. Mm, look at that beautiful old YouTube layout. So Pretty. A week and a half into the Boxy explosion on both ironboard.com and 4chan, what? Boxy herself would address the public, uploading a YouTube video on the 9th of January 2009 She's titled Jesus? For Everyone from Boxy. My oh, name is Boxy, and um, it's been a while since I made a new video, so I decided that because of recent events that I could make a new video. This video addressed some of the insane rumors spreading throughout the that's various the forums. That's the video. By the way, if you guys don't know, that's the video. That's the most insanely popular video. That. I don't do drugs. Oh, I don't mm -hmm. do drugs. Now, mm -hmm. I know that you all think that I do drugs, but I don't. Actually. And once again, display Boxy with her over-the-top, insane, rambling-type personality. Like Boxy, 4chan like was I'm covered like with the video the from the second it was posted to YouTube. Really and after 12 hours, it had racked up a whopping 70,000 views. Like Within 24 hours, it had racked up 300,000 views. And after a week, the video had gained no. a massive 1.2 million views, an incredible number for YouTube in early 2009. The Boxy Babe channel had gained 24,000 subscribers from the video, which made it the most subscribed channel for the month of January 2009. Overall, Boxy had gone from a relative nobody in mid-December 2008 to an online celebrity by mid-January 2009. Ace, hey, so the video is about to go to the second part. It's not going to affect you at all, but peace and love.
All right, now after clipping that together, we're back, baby. And only 30 days later. However, for many, what they had learned about Boxy so far was simply not enough. She had addressed both her fans and haters with this third video, but the viewers still wanted to know more about the identity of the girl the behind drugs. the Boxy she channel. The for this drugs. reason, a vigilante group of four channels would launch a creepy stalker project by the name of Operation Valkyrie. The goal was to hack Boxy's YouTube, Facebook, Photo Bucket, Guy Online, and my. There ain't no fucking way this is real. This is fucking crazy and creepy and weird and just flat out disrespectful. Who would do this? MySpace page and identify the individual behind the channel. A few insignificant photos were found. However, as a whole, the operation was somewhat of a failure. That would be until weeks later, when another group of around 11 members who called themselves the Center for Boxy Control and Restriction, or CBCR, would attempt to dox Boxy once again. After some further searching, members of the group would find- Yo! She's doing my same pose I was before I Video from 2006 posted by an individual oh, resembling Boxy on a channel held under the name of Satisfaction. I'm going to try to climb that fence over there and it's kind of dark so I don't think you That's can see her. By comparing both the face and voice That's of the girl her. in the video, they quickly realized that this was Boxy, who had identified herself as a girl named Katie. Hi. My name is Katie. And also included her nationality. I'm Greek, dude. I know. It freaked me out, too. The channel that the video was posted on was linked to a mice. I'm Greek, dude. I know. It freaked me out, too. Giannis Antetokounmpo's Greek. I mean, I hate him because I'm from Phoenix. But I have to, I mean, point it out. I mean, I'm from Phoenix, bro. Fuck Giannis. But what's wrong? What's, what's wrong with the fucking Greeks? Space page stating that Boxy was 16 years old and was from California. Throughout the process, the 11 members were also able to crack Boxy's password to her YouTube channel and coming from a point of hate would private the three Boxy videos, replacing them with a single video titled Dear Boxy, stating that if she were to upload any more videos, they would leak her personal information to the internet. The event would prompt even news outlets to get involved, publishing That's stories crazy. such as Voxy Boxy's proxy war, stating one side determined to marry her and the other to wipe her out. Eventually, the hackers of her YouTube channel became self-aware of the damage being done to the girl and would give the channel back to Boxy, stating that her videos were annoying and affecting many people throughout the internet. However, she definitely doesn't deserve to have her life ruined. Boxy now had her channel back and was free to make videos once again, but her motive for doing so was now in question, as the whole thing had certainly warned Boxy about the dangers of having a public persona. Possibly as a result of this realization, Boxy would then disappear completely. In March 2010, Earl Esk would rank her iconic video at number 104 on its list of 100 most iconic internet videos. However, Boxy would never discuss such a ranking. Forums continued dedicated to their love for Boxy, but Katie herself would never acknowledge any of them. It seemed as though Boxy Babe had completely disappeared, leaving many people asking, what had happened to Boxy? Well, after two years, that question would finally be answered. During her break while keeping a relatively low profile, Boxy had created a second channel by the name of Oh my god, you guys, do you guys remember the last visit date you used to be able to see when a YouTuber was on, bro? <clears throat> I forgot about that. Like, you would see their last visit date. That's bringing up some crazy memories in my head. I'm pretty sure, oh my god, that's bringing up some crazy memories in my head. Joined November 25th, 2010. I think I joined earlier than her. I think I joined earlier than that. I'm just typing my name right now. My long ass name. Yeah, fuck you, Boxy. I was in this bitch. I've been in this bitch before you. You'll be on camera, but you can open the door. 
of A New Hope in late 2010. She would then upload an update video titled Things Are About To Get Intense in January 2011. You're gonna make a new video? And I was like, maybe, maybe not. Who knows? That's the fun. Approximately two years after the iconic 4chan war that had made her so famous in the first. Damn, so that's her, like, that's definitely her post... Post scene. Scene. Place. Included in this update video were multiple motives for why Boxy had disappeared initially, citing unnecessary hate as one of the main reasons. People would just be saying, like, these really mean, awful things about me, and I... I won't lie. I, I was like, lie. oh. I'd make babies, bro. I'd make babies with her. And I didn't really want to be there because I felt... I would easily marry her and make babies and children. She's pretty. Really, you know, hated. Regardless of the hate, Katie would return to the Boxy Babe channel with a video titled Force Vest. I'm, I'm part of the gang. Uh, marry me, Boxy. Marry me, Boxy. Lana from Boxy, approximately two and a half years after her initial explosion. Katie, there's no way you're watching this, but if there's like some crazy off chance you're watching this and you do want to get married, just hit me up. That'd be the best. We'll, we'll blow up in 2022. We'll take the whole world by storm. Well, you don't, you don't need anybody else but me. Like, I'm not kidding. I'm not playing. I need someone in my life. That someone can be you. You're beautiful. You've always have been, you know? I've always been there. You've always been there. Our past every... Our past ever intertwined. I'm there for you, you're there for me. Hey, hi, my name is Foxy, and um, I was just a surfing on the internet. However, the issue was that after two I'm, I'm So I've got my essay written, and I've been working on it for about a no, week. No, so now I'm going to no, show you how no, I use. No, 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 no half years, Boxy's meme status had declined dramatically and her videos would get fewer and fewer views. Additionally, much of Boxy's magic was embedded in the fact that she was kind of mysterious and people always wanted to know more about her. So as she uploaded more and more videos to the- Okay, that hair right here is a no, 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 no for me. That's a no, 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 no for me. Boxy Babe channel, she became more for me. Not that I don't like- I mean, it looks, I mean, it just doesn't look good is my point. Like you look, you could look so much better with not that hair is my point. That hair on a different girl could look good. I'm getting out of this conversation before I get deeper. Millie to everyone and the magic surrounding her mysteriousness began to dissipate. Viewers could also feel the authenticity falling out of every single video. In the beginning, it was quirky because you could tell that she was genuinely just this overly excited girl in her late teens who was acting the way she was in order to avoid the awkwardness associated with sending a video to another stranger on the internet. But as time progressed, the character felt more and more forced, like she was simply trying to appease the audience. Boxy would post her final video to the Boxy Babe channel on the 10th of January 2000. Okay, maybe the hair can grow on me. That hair can grow on me. Maybe. 2014, leaving the 10 videos on. It's a fucking maybe. On there as an ode to internet history. Boxy would continue to upload videos on the A New Hope channel with various personal pieces of content, but they were never the same as those uploaded to the Boxy channel. So I was kicking around some holiday video ideas. Bro, the viewership so dwindled as time progressed, and on the 5th of June 2017, Katie or Boxy would upload her final ever YouTube video titled What It's Like to Be a YouTuber, explaining why she no longer had any interest in being a content creator. The video included points such as an excessive yeah, amount of hate. Yeah, you, they hate everything about you. The fact that there's no money in YouTube. There's no money in YouTube, at least for me. That YouTube wasn't something she even wanted to do anymore. If it's not about YouTube the money. what I wanted to do. It's never been about the money. It's not. It never was. And finally, oh. that she simply no longer had the time to make any what videos. I'm I don't have time to do this thing. I'm gonna that react. That ultimately makes me miserable. And this was I'm kind of the end of Boxy's video. YouTube journey. She hasn't uploaded a single video since. What it's like to be a YouTuber? Look out for that reaction. I'm gonna react to that. It's this one almost four years later. However, that wouldn't be the end for Boxy. In 2017, she landed a role voicing a character on the Disney show. Right. Additionally, Boxy's voice would be featured on a game titled Boxy Quest, which attempted to satirize various aspects of internet culture. More recently, and most interestingly, Katie Wayne, aka Boxy, would put up the original For Everyone From Boxy video up for sale as an NFT to her Twitter page. It was even the most unassuming in with it. Boxy stated that in the beginning, the fame was a negative. But Things seem to work out for her just fine. All right, guys, quickly in conclusion, Boxy, you're a legend. 
Uh, it's crazy. Your NFT, that's a no go. Uh, who, who do you think you are? Uh, don't do the NFT, but hey, peace and love. And it's us!